Sup peeps and welcome to another reaction to HUD Nature. They seem to be doing the best out of most of my reactions and I just enjoy HUD Nature's content. He's absolutely brilliant. This is 15 minutes of purely educational bird slander featuring Kevin and the baby. So this should be interesting. Um, yeah, if you're new here and you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. If you dislike it, smash that thumbs down. Um, if you smash that thumbs down, drop a comment down below. Let me know why you dislike the video so I can improve. I've got a GoFundMe in the description down below. It would be greatly appreciated if you could please donate any little time me grow this channel exponentially. Please and thank you. With that all being said, uh, let's see what Hood Nature's got to say about birds for 15 minutes. Reasons why this bird is a threat to my mental health. Number one, they clap crocodiles for fun and they do not apologize for it. Like I did not know that. I know that um, if you bow, you got to bow to them, otherwise they, they will stalk you. And the funny thing is they are a stalk. But um, yeah, like you've got to bow to these, um, and they'll bow back if they're the ones that I'm thinking of. True predator, they prefer to go after the miners. That's not even the craziest thing they eat, but we'll get back to that. Number two, the shoebill stork puts its yeah, shoebill stork, yeah. decapitating and assaulting the what? blood force beak until it divorces its head from its body. What? It's, it, it's as bad as you think. What? Number three, there no. are unconfirmed reports of the shoebill stork eating a baby lechwe. For reference, this is what a lechwe is. How in the f four they're fighting? Oh, yeah, what? Well, foot wingspan that's longer than LeBron's. <laughs> the stork isn't even a stork. It's part of the pelicaniform family. Oh really? It's demonic animatronic related to pelicans. Oh really? I didn't know. Makes a lot of sense. It must be a family thing. And at six <laughs> is the chicks because shubal stork chicks will actually try to take their siblings off the census with the strongest one beating and bludgeoning the younger one. If the abused <laughs> oh, brother no. doesn't die from getting his skull bashed in, he'll expire to starvation because his mother won't even acknowledge his existence. Number seven. Wow, is bad parents. Has a lifespan of thirty-six years, and that's just too long looking like that. Number yeah, eight, that's a long life. Noise, when they do, a war veteran gets PTSD. <laughs> no way. No way it sounds like that. What? Number nine, when they get too hot, they'll sh all over their legs repeatedly throughout the day just to stay cool. And reason okay. number 10, they're best friends with hippos, and I just don't f*** with that. It's because no. when they go skinny dipping, they force fish to the surface, which a shoebill stork eats. But any bird that so they both murk water bundy is people for fun. Well, not people, but they'll, they'll murk of animals for fun. Both them and hippos. Like... Okay, so That's I have terrifying. about this thing that I think you should know. Can't explain why, but not only are they harmless to humans, they're actually friendly. This five foot head snatching roid pigeon is coming around humans and it'll even let you approach your nest without becoming aggressive, which actually makes them one of the most popular birds for bird watchers in Africa. This is Sushi. Sushi looks like a hippogriff come to life, but he'll <laughs> let anyone pet him as long as they bow to him first. If you don't, yeah, I said about bowing. Enclosure. But if you bow, Sushi will accept your presence and allow you to pet him. And even Aww. though they look like Jurassic Reject, shoebill storks will bond with their human caretakers and will even walk over to them to greet them. Which actually says a lot because they're nearly in danger with about 5,000 of them left in the world because we insist on destroying their hood. So yeah, shoebill <laughs> storks are not that bad. Now this, this is another story. Uh, yeah, no well, intro f*** this bird. Not only can this demon with wings have a 12 foot wingspan, the marabou stork can be up to 5 yeah, feet. The marabou and stork, I was like, what? The population in the eye. And if one does, you'll quickly find out they have no soul or goodwill behind those pupils. They eat and everything. The like, literally, everything. They like look like a vulture, almost. The dead, which is why they're nicknamed The Undertaker. <laughs> I, believe they'll I cosplay The Undertaker. Animals, including other birds, From lizards, wild mammals, and human children. Don't what? worry, we will get back to that. They what? be doing what? flamingos dirty. The reason they're bald is what? because they get neck deep inside rotting corpses. Also, this flying garbage disposal will feed on feces. That means poop. Their legs are wet <laughs> because they leak liquid ass all over them so that when it dries, it cools them off. But the marriage oh, another one that's... place to find food yeah. is in our garbage, which means two things. One, this dumpster Tweety actually likes being around humans. And two, they are not afraid of us. And because marabou storks are highly aggressive and territorial, according to urban legend, there are some children that got put in a box because they got too close to them. Instead of delivering babies, this stork returns them. With a beak like that, I believe it. I'm a oh. cool man, but if I ever walked into a bathroom and had a five foot ten... What? Looking back How, why is that in the bathroom? Also, that throat scroll is a guller pouch and it's used to make noise to help attract the mate so this satan turkey can make more of itself moral of this video the marabou satan stork is an adventurous level threat to my mental health and a feathery antichrist whose vibe i will never f with <laughs> we need to talk about how disrespectful this bird is what this the is hell bird, and they kill prey by kicking them in the head until they either tap out or flatline they especially violate snakes they'll river dance on the well, snake's head no one likes a snake in the grass secretary bird can kick with a force five times its own body weight that's like the average man ronaldoing someone with 900 pounds of force Ooh. their kick is so powerful that they can actually shatter the bones in your hand also they're like four feet tall the secretary <laughs> bird will stomp around vegetation and bushes just so they can skull snatch anything that 
that tries to escape. They'll also purposely wait around bushfires so that if any small animal tries to run for its life, this bird will take it from it anyway by curb stopping them. <laughs> and they no. their ops in 15 milliseconds, meaning in the time it takes for you to blink, no. you strike multiple times. No. Like I said, they're no, fam. On no. snakes because they'll smash their heads in until they're either paralyzed or dead and then proceed to eat them. Also, this raptor can fly. Because of course they can. And they do all this while looking like a recently divorced Velociraptor that got out of pocket with the child support. This is not a bird, it's Jurassic Park in yoga pants. Y'all can never. Next time someone dinosaurs went extinct, just remember this African homicide chicken tap dances on the graves of snakes. And oh, chickens are uh, dinosaurs, never apparently. I wanted to make a video like this because I always try to be unproblematic and I stay away from the whole TikTok drama thing. But I, I see he's got a new microphone. Because I was having a good day and then she sent me this. I have not known peace ever since I've seen this. I'm going to make a Europe problem. That is a Europygeal gland. Most birds have it, and it's basically an oil dispenser. The same way you rub vaseline okay. with your chapped ass lips, the bird will rub the gland and spread the oils on its feathers to maintain and waterproof them. And of course, there's this nonsense right here. Oh, yeah. Two cans have really thin, stretchy skin to the point where it's translucent when stretched out. And at some points, you can even see muscles, tendons, and bones. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that one before. And then there's the eyes. Two cans have an extra eye membrane that serves as an inner shield. Basically, it's foreskin for their eyeballs. And for those of you that think two cans are parrots, they're actually woodpeckers on steroids. I'm not even kidding. Two cans are part of the Ramphacidae family. Family, one of their closest relatives are woodpeckers. I didn't know that. This, this is accurate. And I don't know what this is, but I'm not going to be the one to explain it. And I'm not letting y'all forget what their tongues look like. And even though their tongues don't wrap around their brains like woodpeckers, knowing that it has that for a tongue still makes me itch. That tongue <laughs> is basically to shove their victims back into their mouth. And another thing, yes, toucans do eat mostly fruit, but they're not vegans. They'll also murk baby birds, bats, frogs, and I don't see anything else that can fit down their throat. The greatest trick Fruit Loops ever pulled was convincing me that toucans were just innocent little hippie parrots. <laughs> At least the babies are cute. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would ask. So yeah, woodpecker tongues wrap around their skulls and go out their mouth like a f***ed up fruit roller. Yeah, like what? I didn't even know that. Reason for this. Well, a what do woodpeckers like know? What? Ants and larvae, and they use that bill to drill through the wood and that long elastic girl tongue to snatch them up. It's like chameleons, but with more feathers. Woodpeckers have been around for 25 million years, but since chameleons have been doing this for 60, it's clear who stole from who. And since the <laughs> woodpecker has one of the longest tongues for any bird, 10 centimeters for a 30 centimeter body, they have to wrap it around to the back of their head when they're not using it. Now this part isn't 100% confirmed, but a lot of scientists believe the tongue also cushions the brain to absorb the shock of them high-fiving trees with their head for a living. Interesting. Aren't you glad you follow me? This yes, is yes I am. That not enough people are talking about. Rat tights are a group of birds that in the game of life chose fight instead of flight. This group includes the biggest birds in the world like ostriches, emus, this blue bastard, and the kiwi. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why you Wait, uh, the kiwi, what? don't realize that there's a fifth member, and that's this South American ostrich, also known as the Rio. They're usually four feet tall, but the biggest ones can be nearly six feet. Rios can run you down at 35 miles per hour and split your chest open with one claw. Well, no, welcome across my nasty habit of going for the eyes. And thanks to the generational trauma of foxes and coyotes, they are incredibly racist to dogs. In society it's actually the dad that stays and raises the chicks while the mother goes and gives it up to as many dudes as possible man's gets no child support because he is the child support <laughs> you remember that time ostrich took an l to an army of emus of course you do because we'll never let australia forget it well rias are officially the emus of england since there's about a thousand of them also seven rias escaped the farm in germany and multiplied to 600 if europe ever goes to war against this latin roy turkey i called it rias can jump six feet in the air and they have claws that can disembowel a human which is why it's jurassic park every time one escapes which is often. To be fair, they're not as dangerous as ostriches or cassowaries, and Rias would rather run away from their problems. It'd be like that. But the Rias <laughs> can have a nasty temper, especially during breeding season. But hey, don't take my word for it. Just ask Kevin. Kevin, hey, you want to say anything to Mamadou's TikTok? <laughs> Sir? Oh. <laughs> no. Hey, do you want to say anything to Mamadou's TikTok? Whoa, is that the baby? Aliens? <laughs> are we just call them owls. Here's ten reasons why. Okay, yeah, they look like they look like alien owls. Number one, what? their ears are see-through, and you can literally look at an owl's eyeball from its ear opening. I call what? them the windows to the soul, but you're gonna find out owls don't have one. Number two, and let's just get this out of the way. This is what owls are hiding under those feathers. Sometimes I think science is too much about what we can know and not enough about what we should know. Agreed. Number three, you probably know that owls can imitate the exorcist by turning their heads 270 degrees, but they only do it because technically owls don't have eyeballs. No, like dead ass. Moloch. That's have tubes that don't That's all I gotta say on that one. Possess just to look behind them. Number four, some owls, owls are evil. Owl will catch prey and decapitate them by the time they get to Why do you think the elites pray to the owl god? If you ever see a squirrel or rabbit that's literally lost its Speaking mind, of which, exactly Bohemian Grove is going on right now, isn't it? Stop there, Where they're sacrificing people to the owl god. At all. Number five, owls are birds from the sugar form order, and there's about 250 flavors of these flying psychopaths, and you can find them almost everywhere. You got the Eurasian Eagle Owl, Snowy Owl, the African Varro Owl, and the Australian Mast Owl. But by far the meanest one of all is a Great Horned Owl. If you know, you know. 
Number six, owls have feathers that can absorb noise, and since God gave them night vision, they can snatch souls and lighten the senses without ever making a single sound. But number seven, when they do decide to speak up, they put someone in therapy. Uh, oh my god. Number eight, no, no fam, no. The very symbol of our country often gets bullied by owls, and they hate crows on a generational level. If a crow breathes, an owl will take it personally and put an end to it. Number nine, owls swallow their prey whole. No bevin, nothing. And then vomit the parts they can't eat like bones, teeth, and fur into this little pellet package. If for some reason Lovely. they had children dissected, like what the f was that even about? And to end on a wholesome note, baby owls sleep on their stomachs because these feathery Jimmy Neutron have heads that are just too heavy. <laughs> baby owls and then thank me for the free serotonin. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what? Photoshop. That's a harpy eagle, and yes, you should be afraid of it. And there's two reasons why this is an Avengers-level threat to the jungle. Number one, they have massive claws, and scientists have oh. compared the talent strength of the harpy eagle to the jaws of a Rottweiler. And since the harpy eagle has claws bigger than that of a grizzly bear, they could barbershop grip a human head. And reason number two, nature did something incredibly out of pocket with them. Because unlike most other eagles, harpy eagles have relatively short wings for their size, meaning they could bob a weave through the branches of the jungle. Which also means this is the only eagle where hiding in the trees means nothing. You would still get worked, murked, and put on a shirt. Because of this, harpy oh. eagles make a victim out of monkeys, sloths, opossums, iguanas, and they'll even friendly fire other birds like macaws. This flying paralysis demon is found from Mexico through Central America all the way down South America to Argentina. But don't worry, its shadow clone is a crowned eagle and can be found terrorizing Southern Africa. I forgot to mention they can carry animals heavier than they are. Just know that if you ever hear this sound, your time has come. <laughs> And even though this hippogriff could probably hole punch a human head, there are no reports of a harpy eagle ever killing or severely injuring a human. They're only really aggressive if you get too close to their nest, but if you do that and get clapped for it, at that point you just charge it to natural selection and keep it pushing. In fact, because harpy eagles have zero fear of humans, it actually makes them an easy target for poachers. That and by gentrifying the... Wait, what? By gentrifying the jungle and knocking it down, we've destroyed a good amount of their home. So really, they should be afraid of us. Moral of this video, you're looking at one of the most dangerous destructive species... I do apologize, my phone got you now on me there. What? So there's three the... possible reasons why they do this. Number one, it's how they yawn and stretch. And before someone says it, no, they don't pull their spine out of their mouth. That's actually the guller pouch being stretched by the neck under it. Number two, this is how pelicans cool off. Pelicans can't sweat and they don't have AC. <laughs> Neither do I. No, I swear for no AC. I live in England. But in extreme cases, it's possible they do whatever the hell this is to expose the blood vessels in their throat to air, which helps them cool off. And reason number three, pelicans of the brutal Lucifer and the satanic rituals, how they pledge their allegiance. Honestly, <laughs> it could be any of these reasons. What did I just mention about the elites and um, Satan? Exactly the kind of nonsense you would like everything birds are evil. Animal proves that evolution is one spiteful bitch. Because rat tights, right? They're a group of birds that decided they were too good for flying, so they make it everyone else's problem. We've got the African Thunder Goose, the Jurassic <laughs> Reject, the Australian Kryptonite, and the Kiwi. Yeah, the Kiwi's related to the biggest birds in the world while being the size of a chicken. That's basically having your entire family 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and 6'6", six, six, but you came out looking like Tory Lanez. Like, you get up in the chair, but stay the same height. But nature disrespected them, because even though the Kiwi shrunk, the eggs they have to lay didn't. So even though they're 4 pounds, they still have to push out an egg that's almost as big as an ostrich. Yeah, I knew about that. They give birth to an egg 20% of their size. And for the women, imagine being shrunk to 3 feet tall and still having to push out the same size baby. To the point where it stretches its ribcage and rearranges its organs, and yes, it's as bad as it sounds. Somehow, it gets worse. Since the bird How does it get worse? pulls up to the same reunion as ostriches and emus, they can't fly. Basically, the kiwi is a bird that just can't burn, which means they can clap by the entire census. They can only survive on islands where there are no cats, dogs, or anything else that can turn them into an eight piece. And of course, they got screwed again when humans brought rats and cats to New Zealand in the same area code as them. And since kiwis are about as tough as the fruit they're named after, they got stab patted disrespectfully. All this while being related to a bird that literally won a war against people. Moral of this video kiwis asked for wings, and nature told them to f off and figure it out. <laughs> Jurassic Park's real and so is this bird. That is an Andean condor and it can have a wingspan of just under 11 feet. That is no cap, a shack and a half. And even though they look like a satanic testicle, they are 100% harmless. They're vultures on steroids that only eat the dead because they don't want smoke with the living. That wasn't a joke, they're a type of New World Vulture and there's two types, the Andean and California condor. And this aesthetically challenged turkey proves that love is blind because this scrotum pigeon mates for life. To shoot his shot, the male condor turns his head red, puffs out his neck feathers and approaches the female. If she lowers her head at him, it means bro one and they'll stay together for close to, if not life. They love getting high. Condors vibe with <laughs> wings that can stay in the air for ridiculous amounts of time without flapping. One condor actually flew for five hours, covered over a hundred miles, and didn't flap once. And when you what? like that, you can live a long time, which is why the California condor can live for up to 80 years, and also why people used to think it was immortal. 
but they're not. California condors are critically endangered due to most of them getting clapped by poaching, lead poisoning, and habitat loss. See, poaching so needs to stop. Us, God gave us thumbs and everyone else has to pay for it. Fun fact, actually mm. really sad fact, Johnny Cash nearly erased the entire condor census after causing a fire that almost wiped them all out. There's about 7,000 Indian condors, but only 500 Californians. If I could trade them for every LA wannabe influencer, I would. I don't apologize for it. But we have been helping this bird out by raising their chicks. That's actually a puppet head feeding a baby so it doesn't get used to humans. They might be down bad now, but in 1987, there was only 27 of them left. Basically, they got canceled, really? but got their contract renewed, so this dinosaur just might be alright. Hmm. Wait, when the birds are going to are poisonous okay, too, so what? I have good news and bad news. The good news is this bird is not venomous or okay. poisonous. Bad news is, with its attitude, it might as well be. Because the mass lapwing is normally shy during the summer and fall, but they turn into demons during breeding season. That's because the lapwing will nest anywhere, and anybody that walks near it will get vibe checked. That spur looks like a guaranteed hospital bill, but it isn't for two reasons. One, Australia has free healthcare unlike some places. And two, those spurs are used for intimidation more than anything. Lappings try to scare off intruders by flying directly at them, but they don't use those spurs in a fade and they definitely don't inject venom with them. <laughs> but if they did, I wouldn't be surprised because Australia. Yep. This mustard tweety is not innocent because they nest anywhere and everywhere. People often walk near the nest without realizing it, and that's when this bird chooses violence and swoops. And they believe in equality because they'll attack cats, dogs, and even jump ravens. They're less likely <laughs> to attack humans, but attempts have been made. The Sometimes they'll be... nest at airports and they'll refuse to... That's a phrase that doesn't need to be made. made. Which can result in the plane getting a free paint job. But everything they do, they do for their family. And they'll even fake a broken wing to distract you from their chicks. You can't be mad at that. What no. is a fact or statistic that seems fake, but is real? So like falcons, right? Out of all the raptors like eagles, hawks, and owls, falcon claws are actually smaller and weaker than the others. So instead oh. of grabbing their prey with their talons and murking them that way, falcons like the peregrine will start high up in the air and drop down. I swear this is going to make sense soon enough. So they turn themselves into missiles that can match at 240 miles per hour. That's <laughs> nice. almost 9 Usain Bolts. This falcon to ratio will target its victim, but because its claws are weaker than the other raptors, instead they'll ball up their feet. Basically making a fist and hitting their prey so hard it folds their spine. So yeah, falcon punch is a real ass thing. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. That's insane. Oh. That last one was insane, um, but yeah, I'm running out of space as you can tell by my camera lagging, so yeah. Also, one last thing, birds are drones, that's all I'm going to say. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, smashing that thumbs up button if you like it, smash the thumbs down if you disliked it, but drop a comment down below and let me know why you disliked it, let me improve, tell me, give me constructive criticism. I've got a GoFundMe in the description down below, it'd be great appreciated if you could please donate and it would help me grow this channel exponentially. With that being said, peace out and namaste peeps.